So, this is how to serve like Ben Shelton in 20 minutes or less. The baseline and the service line. let you know I'm gonna walk you through it so the concept of serving is kind of like us like a hmm think about like a catapult right so you've got your rock and then you've got your cup that holds the rock and then it's you know it's got the stick and then it's got the either like a rubber band or some kind of pressure that pulls it back and then you release it and <laughs> right it just flings the ball so if we apply that to our body if you don't give your body any room to you know pull it back then there's no room to really flick and hit the ball another thing is if you notice Ben Shelton is really low when he's serving so something you can work on is if you're a shorter person maybe bend your knees a little bit lower and hold your base longer so that what i mean by that is on your form when you're up there in the toss hold that tossing arm up a little bit longer and just hold it before you jump up and attack that ball and then if you're a taller person uh, i mean i me personally i'm standing about six foot six one whatever um and i don't go down too low but i also toss the ball kind of low and I just reach up and my arm fully extends and hits it but here's the thing you can try so biggest thing with serving and you'll notice this with a lot of the pros you really got to watch pro tennis to notice this slow down your motion you have a slow motion and a fast release so slow that's the tick 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 slow motion slow motion slow motion and then I'm gonna hold it and making sure that I'm dropping that arm. And then when I'm ready to go, boom, right? Like it's like an explosion. So biggest thing for big servers, it's all about your motion. Figure out something that you can do that's gonna generate a lot of torque, right? The biggest thing I had to learn when it came to serving was how can I get torque on my serve? If my serve has no real way of my arm, you know, making a torquing, making a flip, motion right like a whip right like there's no whip in it if i don't have any kind of whip then i'm not gonna have a good i'm not gonna have a fast serve doesn't mean i'm not gonna have a good serve but i'm not gonna have a fast serve and if your biggest thing is trying to hit a harder serve then a get in the gym b figure out how to get more torque in your swing you don't have to be the biggest guy on the court to have a big serve there's skinny guys i'm a quote-unquote skinny guy i have muscle but I'm a slender build, but it's because of the way that I whip my serve that I'm able to generate so much pace, right? No one's gonna expect you to come out and hit some banging serve if your motion takes two seconds, right? Low, draw, low throw hit, right? It's gotta take time. It's gotta be like, so you wanna make someone wait for it. When someone sees Ben Shelton start serving, they have to wait. They have to wait and see him go through the whole process, taking it back, bending his knees, and then he's got the high toss, and then they see him jump way up in the air, get on top of that ball, and just spike it straight down, right? When you're trying to serve big, the biggest thing you want to look for is where can I toss this ball to get full flexibility of my arm on top of it? That's what you want for a flat serve. Now, if you're looking for like a slice serve, kick serve, it's also based on where you toss it and then how you hit it. Me personally, this is coming from me. If I'm trying to hit a flat serve, I'm tossing it in front of me, just like a little bit, a little bit in front of me, kind of low, right? Because I'm going to jump up, I'm moving, I'm jumping into the court. It's like a gun. I'm throwing it out in front, boom, right, right out in front of me. But if I'm hitting a slice serve, I'm throwing it a bit above my head. And I'm really just trying to catch the side of the ball. There's a lot of things that I don't talk about when I coach because I feel like it complicates things. But pronation plays a big role in where you're going to hit the ball and also how you hit the ball. So pronation is like 
the way your wrist is turning. So right now you're in continental grip. If your wrist opens up like this, this is gonna be a flat serve because now you're gonna flatten out the ball. But if your wrist stays like this, this is going to be a slice serve because look, you're gonna finish and you're gonna cut the ball. You're coming across your body. Now, if you toss it behind your head and instead of going like this, you just go like this and then you come down. That's your kick serve. And look, your wrist opened up, it kicked the ball and then it came down. That's what you got to pay attention to when it comes to serving. Now, slice, kick, big, you know, whatever. It doesn't mean anything if it's not going in. Next biggest thing is aiming that thing and then consistently hitting it. When it comes to aiming that serve, me personally, I do it with my mind. I just, I look at a spot and I think I want to hit it there. And then I, you know, practice and work on getting the ball to that spot. But another thing you can do is just serve consistently. Like everything you want to do in tennis, it just takes time. So, you know, two days, three days out of the week. Excuse me, sheesh. Two days, three days out of the week, figure out a motion that you like that gives you torque and then go out to the court and serve a bucket of balls and have like a set goal to it. Have like serve like 15, maybe serve 10, but don't just serve 10 and call it a day. Divide the court up. So in the box, look at the tennis box, right? If I take a tennis box and I divide it into threes, so I put a line like this, and this is gonna be slightly, it's not in the middle. So picture the box, right? Take a line and push it a little bit over towards the out wide, towards the alley. Now this is gonna be my out wide box. Then take another line, push it a little bit towards the T. This is gonna be my T box. Now I got three spots, out wide, body, T. If I serve 10 out wide, 10 down the body and 10 up the T. I've essentially just served 30 serves into one box. And then I go repeat that and do it on the other side. Now my muscle memory will think, okay, I, I want to hit my serve over here. So this is how I'm going to hit it, right? That's what you're paying attention to. Not how hard you hit it, how consistently you can hit that spot. Everyone can eventually hit a big serve if they, if they swing hard enough, right? So work on how can you place it? Because a big serve means nothing if you can only go down the middle. Eventually, guys are just going to start blocking it. I mean, look at Andy Roddick. Most of the time, when once people figured him out, like Rafa, boom, just block, right? Big serve, block. Oh, he's going big, block it, right? So these are things you can do to work on it. Now, for the second serve, don't get into that mentality of, I need to just get this in, so I'm just going to dink it. Your second serve should be a weapon, too. Figure out, first of all, take all, take all the pressure off of it, right? Don't look at it like, if I miss this serve, I lose the match. Look at it like I need to get one of these serves in, whether it's the first one or the second, okay? Every time you go up there, you gotta look at your serves like arrows, right? I got my fast arrow, my slice arrow, my kick arrow, and my underarm arrow. I don't really use that last one, but it's up there. So. Now, now that you're thinking like that, you hit the, let's say you use the fast arrow, you shot too hard, it's out. Now you got your second serve. They shouldn't be creeping in on your second serve. They should be just as afraid of your second serve as your first serve. Me, I like to switch it up. If I just aced you, or if I just hit a, if I just caught you off guard with the big one on the first point of the game, the very next point of the game, I'm throwing a slice serve in there because I don't want you to get used to what I just did. So I'm going big. Next point, I'm going slice. Next point, I'm going kick. Next point, I'm going slice. Now, if I'm up 40 love, 40, 15, I'm going big. I'm trying to I'm trying to end the game. Right. And I just keep mixing. it. Now, let's say let's say let's look at the patterns here. I went big on the first one. I hit it out. So my second serve is going to be a slider, which is like a slicer. Next point. I went slice on the first one. So my second serve is either gonna be a big serve, which I don't do too often, or a kick serve. If I'm feeling super confident, I'll do the big one. But if I'm not feeling that confident, I'm doing the kick because the kick is gonna bounce and jump up on people. Now, third point of the game, looking at 
Let's see, 15, 30. Looking at 40 love, right? I'm going big. And if I miss that big serve, then I'm going big slice. So it's just like my flat serve, but instead of putting my power this way, I'm putting my power this way. So I'm swinging just as fast as I do on the flat serve with my hand staying this way. So it just cuts, but I'm left-handed. So you have to understand that ball is going to go out wide, depending on um, what side we're on. If we're on the ad side, I'm trying to put you in the fence. And if we're on the deuce side, I'm trying to make the balls go here and then curve in towards the uh, center line, right? So when it's, look at, split the match up into 50-50. 50% 50 of those games you're serving, 50% of those games the other guy is serving. So if you look at it like that, you need a win when you're on offense. When you're on your service game, you need to be winning and closing in on those games. When you're on return games, I don't know what your game plan is. You can work on it. Picks, you know, if you feel confident on returns and you feel confident on serves, and you're a D1 player, you're an A1, right? Like you got it. But if you don't feel confident on either of those, then what are we doing, right? We're not winning matches. I can tell you that. Um, but you know, that's just that's just the bagel department philosophy, right? Like you got to go out there and believe that you're going to be that guy on the court you got to be that dog because if you go out there worrying about this guy's utr or this guy's potential or how good this guy looks in a warm-up then you're not that dog right you got to go out there you try to win that's the whole point of playing it's not to have fun this is not to get a few points on your little utr okay everything does matter i'm not saying it doesn't but at the same time it's going to mean a lot more to you if you went out there in a dominating fashion. And I'm telling you, a lot more people are going to be scared of you and how you play if it looks like you're unbreakable. Like it doesn't look like anything gets to you, especially if you're not looking so scared to hit a second serve. We got to think like that. If you want to play like these guys, you got to replicate these guys. So look at how they look at how they function. Look at Ben Shelton. Look at these guys, these new guys. They get amped up. When I'm in the lead, I'm getting amped up because it plays on the psyche of the other person. Mentally, I'm messing with you because I look like I can't be touched and I look like I'm not breaking down anytime soon. Like Captain America said, I can go all day. But, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, that's all I got for serving. Uh, I feel like if you apply these tips that I said on your serve consistently, uh, you'll definitely have a way better serve than what you're working with now. Or maybe you already had a good serve and you'll improve it from there. Um, I call it, I'm going to call these the bagel department philosophy of winning, right? Now, look at this hoodie I have on right now. If you want a hoodie, most comfortable hoodie I've ever had. I don't like to sell you on anything, but this hoodie feels like a blanket wrapped around me. If you want this hoodie, the link is in the bio, bageldepartment.com. Go cop you a hoodie. Join the fan base of the Bagel Department family. We get dubs out here. We want winners, okay? I believe in you, and I'm going to drop more of these, so that way I can help you guys do better in your tournaments. I want to see more of you guys getting into college. I want to see more of you guys winning. The only way you get to the top is by grinding, bro. Seriously. All right. But uh, anyways, y'all, peace, love, happiness. Um, shout out, Bagel Department. And uh, yeah.